Welcome to Networking Arizona with host Carol Blonder. You'll hear interviews with businesses located throughout the valley. Networking, it makes a difference. If I trade it in. Welcome to the show, everyone. As you all know, I like to talk about everybody else on my radio show. And I love that about my show because who doesn't like to talk about themselves? And, you know, the great thing about it is the information that people are getting from this show. We're live on Facebook, so I do want to say hi to everybody out there. Like us and follow us. We're going to share the show later on. My first guest has now been on with me a few times. I have with me Jenna Bailey, and she's the founder of Bailey Law Firm. You have to tell everybody a little bit about your law firm and you just this past June have our celebrating your third anniversary kudos to you congratulations tell everybody a little bit about your law firm and yourself sure uh, so I own an Arizona based law firm we have three locations uh, Tucson Scottsdale Tempe and we're a full service firm meaning we intend to sort of provide that one-stop shop for everyday people who find themselves needing legal services now you're you have three locations. Let's talk a little bit about that. You have three locations to serve people, which is Tucson, Tempe, and Scottsdale. Uh, woman-owned. Woman-owned, right? Right, yep. And I'm the owner. <laughs> the other thing, well, woman-owned, I said that. But you said, uh, well, woman-owned, that's right. But you have a lot of women also, but b- both men and women that work in the, in the law firm? Right, yeah, we have both. We uh, kind of got known as a woman based attorney because several of our first attorneys were women so but, okay because i was on your phone yeah. i saw that okay right. so but the other thing that i want to talk about is that you are a full service so you know any almost any law let's talk about the different kind of law that you do help people with sure so uh, personal injuries of a big practice area of ours uh, business law estate planning real estate law and employment law and the idea there is to to serve as one place that average everyday people can kind of get all their legal needs handled. Now, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about personal injury. It's a good time. We've got Labor Day coming up, so a lot of people are going to be taking some time off or going on that little last holiday trip. And God forbid. Now, but PI is not only just accidents. We want to talk really quickly about that. Let's talk about, you know, what could be a personal injury uh, case? So personal injury is essentially a, a someone who was injured. Their body was physically injured by some sort of wrongdoing of another party. And that wrongdoing could be negligence. It could be, you know, reckless or intentional. So certainly that includes, you know, car accidents and slip and falls and dog bites like we've all heard about. Um, but it also is sort of a sub specialty includes things like medical malpractice which my firm does a lot of so that's same concept it's just a, a doctor licensed professional hospital um, negligently causing physical injury to somebody so that's still in my view kind of falls under this big umbrella of personal injury law there is a huge umbrella when it comes to that but it's all about the case right <laughs> that's for sure right and so when you do a personal injury case how does that work how does it look when you do because you're going to talk to them you're going to do a consultation with them right go and what, what then goes on what are they what can they expect Sure. So in the consultation, what we're doing is determining whether or not there's a legally viable personal injury case. And there's really three things that go into that. One, that sort of fault aspect. Is there some party who either negligently or worse, recklessly or intentionally uh, caused? That's the second sort of element. And then third, some sort of physical injury. So when we're talking to a person, we're trying to determine whether or not those factors that make a case legally viable are there. So they call you. Uh, do you do consultation with them and sit down and talk to them about that? Their phone, your phone number to call direct. It's 480-681-5408. My suggestion is to put the number in the phone because you never know. Obviously, you do other kind of law as well. Today, we're talking a little bit about covering the personal law, uh, personal injury. But here's the thing about this. Um, Well, I said PI. Is that correct? Personal injury? Right. So, you know, I want people to understand that you never know when something can happen and when you might need this. So it's a good place to put the phone number, which is in your phone under Bailey Law Firm. That phone number, again, it's 480-681-5408. It's baileylawfirmaz.com. They have three locations. It's Tucson, Tempe, and Scottsdale. They're rated with the Better Business Bureau as well. I want to go back to uh, someone. How do they determine, you know, whether they're, they've got a case? How do they know? 
it, you know, in some circumstances, it, it can be obvious. You know, if somebody runs a red light and hits you and you break your arm, you probably can be pretty sure you have a personal injury case. Um, certainly on the way other end of the spectrum with the medical malpractice cases, there really would be no way for a lay person to know whether or not they have a viable medical malpractice case, even as attorneys in doing that initial consultation based on our experience in other cases. Uh, we may get a sense on whether we feel like there is or is not a viable case, but even in that circumstance, we rely on reviewing medical records and talking to experts uh, determine, to determine whether or not a case is viable. So in some circumstances, it's obvious. In others, you would really need to talk to an attorney who would then on there and need to do some work to even know whether there is a case or not. How does someone know? How do you come up with how much a case is worth? Because that's the bottom line. Sure, yeah, it's a good question. So there's kind of two components that go into that. And one is, is what I sort of call the hard numbers. So that's going to be, you know, what are the medical bills involved in the case? Are there any lost wages, meaning did the injury cause the person um, to miss work and therefore lose wages? Is there any permanent injury that makes it such that the person can't engage in their line of work in the future? Those would all be some number that we can determine, hey, here's the specific number. The other side of it is the pain that the person went through, uh, the emotional suffering, sort of just the day-to-day -day impact on their life. And a lot of people are surprised to learn that, at least here in Arizona, there's no guidance that a jury is given in terms of what that's worth. At the end of the day, if we end up in front of a jury at trial, um, one attorney is going to, to suggest one number, the other attorney is going to suggest another number, and there's no written instructions, there's no guidance from the judge in terms of what might be appropriate. So it can make cases very difficult to actually value in that way. So my question is, do, do cases uh, always go to court? Um, so go to court in terms of you have to file a lawsuit and there's litigation going on. Yes, that happens very frequently. Go all the way to trial where a jury is actually hearing the dispute. Uh, no, I, an overwhelming number of cases resolve far, far short of that. One is just the sheer time it takes to get to a jury trial, especially after COVID. I was just going to ask you, right. what's going on with that? Because I know they were backed up, backed up. They got to still be. No, uh, jury trials are up and running now. They have been Back for some normal. time. But that being said, there's a big backlog. So, you know, at some point the parties see the value to reaching a resolution, you know, rather than waiting the several years it takes to have a jury hear their case. Put the phone number in your phone. You do not know when something like this that you're going to need, uh, whether or not it is an accident that can happen. But of course, slip and falls, we know that. Uh, dog bites. There's also all sorts of things. But when you talk about um, medical malpractice, that's huge. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, one thing I do want to talk about, and I'm going to give out the phone number too, is a lot of times people don't feel like they have, like, oh, I shouldn't do that, you know? But they should. They should call and talk to you first. And because they have the rights, right, they should get, especially medical by practice, oh my God. Well, and one reason is it's to, to seek justice for yourself, but also the idea in the larger picture is to deter such conduct. So one way to deter negligence and intentional, you know, certainly reckless conduct as well is to bring these lawsuits and hold those wrongdoers accountable. That phone number is 480-681-5408. Their website is baileylawfirmaz.com. She has three locations. It's Tucson, uh, Tempe, and Scottsdale. She's rated with the Better Business Bureau. She is celebrating her third year anniversary. And you know something? This is something where you really need to find out what's going on we need to talk about it talk about the case certainly if you're dealing with something that is as big as medical malpractice you certainly need to talk to somebody about that give her a call her phone number is 480-681-5408 hang tight we're gonna be back in just a minute When someone close to you passes, the grief can feel overwhelming. So when it comes time to make the necessary preparations for your loved one, you can rely on Angel Cremation and Burial in Mesa. Our caring and professional staff knows you're going through a lot, so we focus on helping you understand your options. You only pay for what you truly need. To learn more about our many cremation and funeral services, call 480-962-6435. 480-962-6435. AngelsCremationAndBurial.com 
Knowing every client is different, Anna von Strassenberg, CPA, PLLC, prides herself by offering ethical, accurate, and professional guidance when it comes to accounting, tax, and consulting services like tax return preparation, tax projections, proactive tax planning, IRS representation, QuickBooks, Pro Advisors, and more. For more information or to schedule a free consultation, call 480-964-4030. That's 480-964-4030. Services available year-round, ArizonaCPAs.com. Could your outdoor furniture use a summer makeover? Arizona Custom Cushions offers custom-made replacement cushions for indoor and outdoor furniture. Daybeds, sofas, love seats, outdoor indoor chairs, chaise lounges, bench cushions, window seat cushions, Adirondack chair cushions, and cushions for wicker furniture too. Located in Phoenix or shop online nationwide. Whether your cushion needs are small or large, we are dedicated to exceeding our customers' needs. Call us today at 1-877-505-0012 or visit ArizonaCustomCushions.com. Tired of ordering soap-making ingredients from companies who are frequently out of stock? Looking to buy soap-making supplies that are high-quality yet affordable? Wouldn't it be nice if you placed an order for your soap-making supplies and they shipped out to you same day? Or you could pick it up free locally right in Chandler. Arizona Soap Supply would like to be your soap-making supplier of choice. Call 480-401-1595. Again, 480-401-1595. Or visit us online at ArizonaSoapSupply.com. Hey, this is Howie. And me, Javi. Bravo Insurance Agency offers financial and lifestyle protection for those you love from an agency you can trust. Gain the financial lifestyle security you deserve. Proudly serving individuals, families, veterans, and America's small business communities since 1985. For obligation consultation, call us at 480-316-7862. That's 480-316-7862. Like us on Facebook. Tired of paying high hourly fees when you need a plumber? With Cobra Plumbing, you get the same great service as the other guys, but to pay by the job, not the hour. So if you have a residential plumbing issue, don't wait. Call Cobra Plumbing today. Plus, our work is guaranteed. So call us today for your free estimate. Call 602-663-8432. That's 602-663-8432. To see a list of our complete service offerings, go to cobraplumbing.net. If a trade it in so welcome back, everyone. We are talking with Jenna Bailey, and she's the founder of Bailey Law Firm. We are talking about personal injury today. You never know when that's a, you know, you might have even already been in. I have to ask you a question. I'm thinking my mind is going faster than my mouth right now. <laughs> uh, you might have already been in an accident, was what I was going to say. But um, I was thinking about the person that might have been in one, okay? Is there a statute of limitations? I, I have to think of the words because I really don't know them as well as you do. <laughs> for that like let's say they were in one but they have do they have a certain amount of time that they could be able to uh, call you and talk to you about that they do and it depends by case a little bit so two years is what you know I think what a lot of people know but depending on who the de- the defendant is it can actually be shorter than that it can be as short as 180 days wow so you know what if you've been in one or something's going on and you want to talk to her whether or not it is an accident a dog bite there we talked about medical malpractice I mean it can go deeper than that, and we're going to talk a little bit further. The phone number to call, it's 480-681-5408. At the break, during Facebook land, we were talking a little bit about the free consultations, which is basically what you have to do is find out. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what kind of case you got, if you got a case. But then you also work on a contingency basis, and I think people on the air really need to hear that. Right. So all personal injury cases, including medical malpractice type cases, are on a contingency basis, which means the attorney's fees are not owed unless there is a recovery. And then the attorney's fees are simply a percentage of the recovery. Um, Probably as important are the costs aspect of it. So attorney's fees are one thing, but case costs are different. It's very expensive to bring cases like this, especially medical malpractice cases. Uh, Experts have to be hired. There's court filing fees. There's depositions. So the law firm fronts all of those costs, and those are also not owed unless there is a recovery on your behalf. She has three locations, uh, Tucson, Tempe, and Scottsdale, rated with the Better Business Bureau. And the cool thing about you is that you also started your business during COVID, you know, basically three years ago, and you're celebrating your three, and you're going 
bigger and bigger. You're growing all the time. Uh, somebody that you can count on that you need to know that they can, you can call and talk to them, put the phone number in your phone. It's 480-681-5408. She works on a contingency basis with personal injury cases. Also, uh, it's a free consultation, All uh, obviously, as well. Um, I want to talk a bit about, th- I love this question that you brought up here, because um, that's what they do. They give me the questions to ask. Um, which is why so many personal injury billboards are out there and ads. I love that question because they're like every few seconds, if not every every other right. minute that you're driving down, you see another one. And they're smiling. Why are they smiling? Go ahead. I can't answer the second question. Uh, the first, I know why. <laughs> right. uh, the first question, I actually get asked that a lot. And, you know, I believe that the uptick, one, has to do with simply more car accidents because more people are here in, in Arizona. There's been obviously a flood of people coming here. That means more people. Just statistically, that's going to mean more car accidents. And I'm also involved with uh, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. I'm the president of the board of the Arizona um, a group here and I was looking at some statistics re- recently and very sadly instances of drunk driving are up significantly in Arizona this year. I know why too. COVID, a lot of people yep. were in the house. Oh, I just got to run out and get something, you know, real quickly and boom. Right. right. So unfortunately more accidents means more accident attorneys, which often means more billboards and, and buses and all that. I'm going to say something. I think that it's because, you know, you're getting one and then you're stand, you're sitting there on the freeway and you look up, right? Yeah. And the thing, you think that's just, that's a person to call, not necessarily the right person to call. But I think, you know, from a marketing perspective, absolutely, because with accidents, it's one of those things you don't need someone until you need them. You know, like with estate planning, right. anyone could benefit from an estate plan. Mm-hmm. A car accident, hopefully you never need one. If you do need one, it's kind of like a, a quick panic situation of, oh, my gosh, who do I call? Right. So for a marketing perspective, yeah, to Makes have sense, that it, name recognition. But they're not always the best. That's all it's With say. anything, right. Right. But I do want to also talk about, too, and I like this question, too. How does personal injury uh, intersect with other practice of law? Sure. So one of the reasons that my firm uh, engages in multiple practice areas and different attorneys, you know, will handle the different practice areas based on their skill and um, experience. But uh, for example, in the personal injury context, if we're able to get a recovery for you and maybe before you thought, you know, I don't have that many assets or anything worth setting up an estate plan for. Now we're able to help you get a recovery. And maybe now you do have something that, you know, you feel is worth sort of setting that up with. And we can help you with that, too. So again, a different attorney who handles that practice area, um, but within the firm. So you don't have to sort of start over and, oh, shoot, now i got to find someone who does trust. You're already in-house, and we can help you with that aspect as well. I have to also mention this because my mind always goes to the kind of bizarre, (laughs) but it is true. So, you know, you also do family law? Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad I I said that because (laughs) I thought that was the case. And the thing is about drinking so you're not always driving so you could be home you could be having a uh, fight Mm -hmm. that now becomes it could become personal injury depending on how bad right how bad and yeah what the circumstances are right 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 so you never know when and then of course you might need an attorney for a divorce just because now you want to get a divorce from that person because it, you know, it, it does interact for <laughs> it sure. Does, it does. Right. It absolutely does. Again, she does do second opinions. I think the main thing to do is to find out whether or not you have a case. You have to sit down and talk. That's what it's all about right now. Uh, it's a consultation that's free. They work on a contingency basis. The phone number to call, it's 480-681-5408. Bailey Law Firm, AZ. Com, three locations, Tucson, Tempe, Scottsdale, and she's rated with the Better Business Bureau. I, w- I want to talk a little bit about, maybe you can have a, a little bit of a story, um, because medical malpractice is, I mean, that's very big, right? Uh, so somebody thinks that uh, 
you know, it, it, again, that's it's a, there's got to be a very fine line that somebody walks on that. It the, it doesn't. It's not as easy as it seems, right? Am I cra- correct? It's not, and it requires experts. So whenever there's a case against a licensed professional, which would certainly include a physician, a nurse, a hospital, um, we have to before even bringing any sort of claim hire an expert who is licensed in the same way of the person we're criticizing, who feels that that defendant breached what we call standard of care, meaning they provided care that is below what is the sort of generally acceptable um, care that should have been provided based on the circumstances. So that's not something that even as a lawyer, you know, again, having done this, I can ha- I can hear somebody tell me their story and have an idea. Um, but I need that expert testimony in order to determine whether or not we even have a case. So those are very complex. That's why you don't see medical malpractice billboards because there's far fewer attorneys who do medical malpractice. So the thing is, is it's a silent thing too, right? Um, and, and medical malpractice, there's people nursing homes. Absolutely. You know, and, and that's huge. And I, I think a lot of people, again, they they don't feel like, oh, well, we shouldn't do that because, you know, they don't want to talk about it, right? I think they need to understand why it's so important that somebody does speak out and get, um, you know, uh, representation for themselves for that. Sure. And, you know, there's a lot to be said for just determining whether or not you have a medical malpractice claim. If, if you do, then sh- obviously the benefit is pursuing the claim for you. But again, like I mentioned, helping hold that you know, doctor or hospital accountable so that hopefully it doesn't happen to someone else. Uh, But even if you talk to us and and we don't feel you have a viable legal claim, we explain why. And for a lot of people that helps with sort of closure of the situation as well, because you know, you know, it's really unfortunate what happened, but it's not going to be a viable legal claim. Now, I think it's really cool that you sit on, you're the president, you said, of Mothers Against Drunk Driving the in Arizona Arizona here. And, uh, you know, we have to bring it back to driving. Obviously, it happens a lot. Uh, And drunk driving you said is up and and even in that case uh does it you would think that everybody has a case immediately right what you know just because they're hit by somebody who is drinking and you you would be right on that however uh there are also potential other defendants that maybe a lay person wouldn't think of so for example if a drunk driver hits you and causes injury yes absolutely a case against that person which is pretty obvious but you may also have a case against the bar or restaurant that served that person if they in fact overserved them. So right. there's even for sort of straightforward cases, um, there are nuances in the law that we can help make sure that we're holding everybody accountable if appropriate. That's why you got to be pretty careful today about what you're doing, you know, especially let's say you have, a, we're having, uh, what is it, Labor Day coming up. Right. And a lot of people, a lot of people are going to be drinking. Uh, you might be even serving uh, some kids some drinks. Right. It could come back to you. And you got to be careful. Careful. If God forbid something happens, the main thing is that if you listen to this show, you are going to hear this information. Put the phone number in your phone. The, the number to call, it's 480-681-5408. It's uh, Bailey Law Firm. And again, it's baileylawfirmaz.com. She's got three locations, Tucson, Tempe, and Scottsdale. They work on a contingency basis, so they do free consultation. Second opinions as well. Again, that number, it's 480 680- 680 681 5408.